diplomacy, 10% piety, or people like us more. Um, I don't think I need more piety. Let's let's go for we'll lose three stress. We'll get more people to like us. I think that seems completely a okay. Vincent Empire has won their civil war. I don't think me and the uh, got a ton of uh, prestige off that, or a lot of um. Do you not have enough uh, piety? The answer is no. You actually are a king. No, you're not. You're du you're a duke. It could go for a subjugation. What about you? 375. Rule the kingdom, base, you're tribal. You have 5,000. You are an actual king, which is, I think, a little worrying. Can't do anything really against you right now. You are also a kingdom level title. What about like Georgia? Can't do anything with them. Are you actually at war with the Byzantines? No. What about you up in the north? You're also a king level title, unfortunately. I mean, what about anything? Like, what would be the best empire title? It would probably be Tataria. Like, that makes the most amount of sense. Uh, we lost one province, but we gained, I think, four. We're, we are bigger. It might look, it might look smaller, but we, we have expanded in size. What if I declare war and I subjugate you? You have 5,000 men. You don't have enough prestige quite, quite yet. Pilgrimage is over. Do you want to hold a feast? I think a feast could also give us um, city strength, seventy dollars, or is a hunt that gives you prestige. We are lazy, but you know what? Sound the horn. Expose their secret. My wife has been cheating on me. Yeah, break it off. Break it off. Like, you cocky trollop. What about you? Okay, well, congratulations. My wife's now in jail. Sorry, spouse. Uh, I will divorce you now. You don't like me anymore, but that's okay. Have fun, have fun staying in jail. I will find somebody who will actually give me an alliance. You're a duke in Lithuania. You are... Who the hell are you? You're this little tiny country. I'm going to go no on that one. I want um, alliance power. What about you? A, a nice little 10-year-old girl? Seems fine. I actually get some of her prestige out of it. And we got Guge now as a uh, an ally. Ooh, 150 prestige as well. Kill her? Nah, she's, she's already in jail. She can be there for the rest of her days. You can say 4,000 men, huh? Because you're at war with this guy. I mean, I kind of want to just go for some quick county wars. I mean, look, it's like 38 prestige, right? You don't even need that many men. Look, 800, 800 guys? Just go and fight them. Then we will kill you in a mere moment. Conquer more land for ourselves. What are you guys in the north? 1,100, 600, 1,300. You have 500 men. But no allies? I already have levies raised. That's my fault. But once this area falls, we should be okay. They've already been kicked out. And once that siege is finished, we will uh, have another province to our name. And the more provinces we have, the better, I believe. 
Actually, you know why we might look our, our name might look smaller is because we're no because we lost this one province. It probably resorted this to not having our name over it anymore. And call it an ally. I don't think that's really worth it for this small little war. If we were fighting to subjugate this guy, we might want Guge or Gun Guge uh, involved. But aside from that, I don't think it's really necessary. Oh, we can vassalize somebody. The war, the person who I was at war with before will now accept vassalization. There we go. Thank you. Uh, hi, shaman. Educate my child. Like, do you not hate me that I tried to kill you before? Short reign. Apparently I still have a short reign even though I've been in charge for like 20 years. Maybe I don't know what the definition of short reign is. Why do you keep trying to... You're, you're trying your best to alleviate the siege. I mean, I guess it does theoretically delay the timer. Also, I have now uh, captured your heir. So I will enforce my demands. Thank you. Expand this army. Grant this province over the hell this guy is. Congratulations to you. And who do I want you to marry? Great Leo. You. Not accept. Who's the best matrilineal alliance power? You want to marry a zero-year-old? That's fine. Okay, Great Liao is now also on our side. So we got Great Liao and we got Guge uh, as potentially powerful allies. What about you guys down here? You have a thousand men. You have 700 men. What about the conquest up towards north? 800. You are allied to... Sabir. But I mean, Sabir, like, we could just invade your allies individually, and it still kind of works out in our favor. 1,100 men. 1,500. 1,100. Again, you have 500. You're going to conquer a territory. You have 13, and you're allied with you. You're already at war, actually, with um, Perm. We're going to do the thing I was just doing. Um, I'm going to take over this province. And then you are allied with... I don't know. Who are you? You're down here in Iraq. And then you're also allied with this person. And I will conquer their other territory. And now they're all next to each other. Which means that we shouldn't face the... Um, the same problems we had before. Okay, so we're going to get you to go here. These guys have to go a little bit bigger. Have you march your way to this fort. And then you're going to march your way to here. But I guess you'll actually go around. That should be fine. Oh, no, you go, go here. You go here. But, like, in a way that doesn't make you take attrition. And then go around like that. There we go. So send all those troops up towards the north. Take over these provinces. And we should be good. What about, what about you? I don't know, like, why there's, like, no music really playing other than during those events. Did I turn off music? No. I, I don't really know actually why it's not really playing that much. We might actually need to send more reinforcements over here. Actually, are we even fighting? That's perm. I don't care about perm. Take our troops out of the province. Actually, is perm attacking you? No. Why am I hostile to perm? I don't know why I'm hostile to perm. I don't. I feel like I shouldn't be. And we're at war. Somebody who is now actually just called the Persian Empire. Why are you not called the Seljuks anymore? I'm actually not too sure. We also got Egypt. 
And Mos Mosovi. We have 1,500 men. Where did, where did my army retreat to? Oh, they're over here now. Okay. That should be fine for you. My, um... My concubine has gotten pregnant. Where are you going? Just stay here. Fight against this. You shouldn't be a threat, I think. I'm hoping. A97. And I do already occupy the war goal, so... We shouldn't need to do anything here. We should be able to take the province for free in just mere moments. And it was march on your capital. Okay, so force your demand here. Followed by giving this out to, I don't know, this guy. Congratulations. And now it's actually with the money that we have. And the prestige. I think we want to build 150 levies, extra knights, free prestige growth. You know what? Let's go for a gathering call. Uh, level one. Seems good enough to me. 3,000 men. I, I don't think any of these guys really can uh, fight us. I mean, he probably got called in as an ally. But I'm not too concerned. And we need another steward. Uh, you're pretty good. You do also like us a lot. Just keep on gathering taxes. The more money we got, the better, I would say. And I'll move on to your city. Give him a new name. I'm mean, keep being raided. I don't know if there's really thing, anything I can do about the whole getting raided thing. Getting raided just seems to be a, uh, a, f a fact of life when you're living out in the steppes. Not really too much you can do about it, unfortunately. Even though I wish I could. Depends on Sonia down here. Persian Empire is looking pretty powerful. Aside from that, I don't see anything too crazy going on in the, the rest of the world. At least nothing that I think is unexpected. Both these sieges should finish in a moment. After that, we can think about where we want to attack next. You took back my capital. You took back the capital. Get out of here. I don't even know who... I guess you're an ally of this guy. Okay, force those demands. Bring you back. Followed by granting this title to whoever the hell you are. I mean, this should be pretty easy to capture because it's already, uh, yeah, because you already captured it once before. So where do we want to go next? Hmm, well, I mean, we could try to subjugate, I mean, the thing is, like, I don't really want to subjugate a king. If we subjugate a king, it will... Enforce my demands, thank you, disband the army. And then this new province that I don't really want or care about, granted to you. I hope you have fun with that. Somebody's going to have fun with it. It's not going to be me. So, I'm I'm just trying to think. I mean, our prestige is not that high. Yeah, I'll take 50 bucks. 50 bucks is 50 bucks. I'll never say no to 50 bucks. Like, if I was to go declare war, could have conquered duchies now. They are definitely more expensive. Any good duchies around here, though? If anything, let me just see, actually look where the holy site is. Holy site's here. If I was to go to war with you, I would want to take this duchy that has the holy site. 
does need a little bit more prestige. I wouldn't mind calling in Great Liao and Gunj uh, to help out in that war. Because they have... Never mind, they have 700 men. I might, I might not need an ally. I don't care about my hook on this guy. I don't think it's really a big deal one way or the other. I mean, you're already losing to my vassal. And against a peasant revolt. Are you doing a holy war? No, you're just trying to take the province. I mean, that, that works fine for me. And now... The 188. It's going to take a few more months. We should soon have the prestige we need to do a ducal conquest. And we also need to see if we can marry you off. Matrilineal to highest alliance power. They say is you... Where are you? You're this guy way up in the north. And then you are in my own country. Think I want to marry within my own country? Absolutely not. Matrilineal, alliance power. You lose prestige, but I guess what? I don't care what my daughters have to say about it, so... Go. Good, matrilineal. Are you actually the one in charge? I think you are. Actually, no, are you making... I actually have no idea, but that's fine. Close alliance, seems good enough to me. Who are you? I, I, you're some guy in the Persian Empire. I don't know who the hell you are. Almost have the prestige that we need. I wouldn't mind going up to uh, speed 5 just while you wait for this to finish. Yeah, let's write some history. How's Mongolia been? Well, we're not quite in Mongolia, but I would say we're doing pretty well. Let's commission Epic. 150 prestige, 50 bucks. Absolutely, I think it's worthwhile. Accomplished storyteller. Renowned piety. Now, I want some personal prestige so I can declare more wars. Because I'm only 47. I, I still got a lot of time. In honesty, which is scheme chance. Nah, 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 nah. Give me that prestige. Also, we got another ransom. 10 bucks. I'll take it. By the way, I want to uh, conquer this dachi from you. 800 men against 19,000? I, I I think this is going to be bad for you. Let me just put it that way. I don't think that we need to call our allies in. If they only have, like... They literally have that few troops. Let's siege down some territory. Five hundred marshal. Yeah, let's let's just slowly go into the country and try to take our duchy. There we go. Even more prestige for us. Do I want to call any of our allies in? Basically, just to make the war go a little bit faster. I mean, it's 350 prestige. It's not worth it. It's not worth it for a war that I know I'm going to win. Let's see if they have 1,100 men. And they have 1,100 men here. We can actually raise up a second army. Are we already starving? Yes. My rivals died! Let's go! Yeah, let's pull you back out. You're getting right raided over here. I am uh, almost 50 years old now. So I would say I don't think we're too, too old. Hey, we've won the war. Okay, lovely. Enforce all my demands. Thank you. 
75. We gain... Do diplomacy and more prestige? Absolutely. Disband the army. The Kamania have... We have now taken a single holy site. Yeah, you can have 10 bucks. That's okay. Sign a guardian. And this... This new duchy we have. Which actually we don't have the duchy. I don't think we have the duchy. Wait, 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 wait. Anyway. This area here. You can have these three. And then this area here. Can be granted to your wise man, Andrew Handsome. Congratulations, you have those two titles. So I'd say Kamania is looking pretty, pretty good. I mean, the country's kind of been split into three different ways. Delicate affairs. Yeah, I, I would like more friends. People should like me. Sign you there. My wife is still only 15 years old, so we're not quite married yet. But we should hopefully be soon. Renown. I'll pay 75 bucks. 75% chance that we win. Okay, I spent... I lost prestige. Well, didn't really work out so well. Um, Kingdom titles, duchy titles. So we got this duchy. What would be the another Dutch I would like to take? What about Dulio? And none of those Dutchies are really that good. And again, you are not actually. I fought any duels? No, we've not fought any duels. My prowess is only seven, so absolutely do not want to fight any. Uh, I don't want to fight anybody. fighting against you and you're fighting against whoever the hell this is what if I want to kill you thousand can I not do the subjugation against you or n no we do no we no we don't border you no we do border you What a lovely, lovely feast. I had a great time. How's the Byzantine Empire doing? 7,000 men. They're allied to their own vassal. It doesn't really work very well. You're fighting a couple of people in North Africa. It's like, I wouldn't mind trying to take... You know, parts of Crimea so that we could... Theoretically, reform the Tangri faith. Because right now we have one. It does give us skirmisher and light cavalry damage. It would also be nice if you would become Tangri. Right now you are Buddhist. Who's your heir? All Buddhist. I don't like that they're all Buddhist. I would have much preferred if they were something that I could easily control. That's not a bad, um, not a bad ducal claim. A, a, a decent three counties there. But again, it doesn't really help us with our goal of reforming a faith. Because again, you do need... That's so expensive. 3,000? 3, 3,000 and, of course, we need three of the holy sites. Which we, uh, do not have. Which is a, a shame. What about you? 1,600 men. You're allied to Bardock. And Saxania. Persian Empire is once again falling apart. I'm wondering if there's maybe like a kingdom title I could maybe form. That would allow people to join us. Hmm. I'm not really too sure. Okay, we're missing... 
13 titles. 13 counties. And they're mostly... I'm trying to see. Uh, what are the hockeys? You're E and you are shift E. It's basically just you. Can I kill any of these guys? I could. That's 25 uh, prestige, but that's okay. We'll try to conquer these internal areas. Uh, let's get another rally point over here. Okay, let's raise our levies as well. We can take over this. This is going to be an extra one, two, three. An extra four. How many men do you guys have? You have 2,000. You have 1,000. Okay, one. There, I see two. I'm guessing it's probably there. move in this direction, and you are also going to come here to the capital. How will the Mongols affect this campaign? I have no idea. We'll see when they show up. Uh, are we going to win this fight? Uh, we will. Level of fame impact. Dimensity per level of fame. Yeah, let's go for more diplomacy. No, the Mongols don't show up until we actually lost. Uh, the Mongols, I think, show up in around... ...1100? If I'm not mistaken. What are you? You are... Yeah, 500 points of etiquette. I'm pretty sure my... Yeah, we have 20 points here. What about a trade deal with you? Trade deals are always fun. Move forward, bring reinforcements in. Like, I wouldn't mind going back to war with you, but of course, I'm pretty sure we have a truce. The truce lasts until... only It's only five years. It's actually not that bad. Enforce my demands. Beautiful. Send you up here. Hey, another rival is dead. I love when my rivals die. It brings me such joy. Congratulations to this nice 22-year-old. You can get these three provinces. And then Kotan is really the only actual obstacle that we're going to face to our ever-expanding empire. 1,200? Okay. Well, e either way, they're not here yet. Okay, so by the way, my wife, can we get married? We can usurp uh, a province held by you. How much does it cost to usurp? Okay, you're fighting a war, so we can't actually usurp it right now. Let's get married. Thank you. We do need actually more knights. Ah, no, apparently we don't need any more knights. See if we make some cash. We love to make some money. Calling restoration. Where, where, where even are the Carlings in um, 1066? I think are they one of the Dukes in France or in the HRE? To me, at least that would make the most amount of sense. Okay, enforce our demands on you. Disband our armies. And we'll grant this to... Why not you? So now where are we in terms of... Forming... Uh... Pataria. We need nine more provinces.
Only do one invasion for a kingdom level title. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this would be enough. A thousand prestige. 20,000 men. I think we do it for the kingdom. Not for that one, but for this one. They're in a duchy in Vala in Vala. Valois. Go to war. Let's go to war. Uh, do I want to call my allies in? I'm at war with one of my allies. Okay, that's probably like not great. Hey, you want to be call uh, call the war? We're gonna be a negative prestige, but that's okay. I didn't realize that my ally was allied to him. Four thousand men. Where are you? You're hiding out in your capital. Okay. By the way, you, I have no no qualms with you right now. We're friends. Become fickle, 15 stress. Ah, uh, become forgiving. Forgiving's a pretty good trait. Uh, let's also get another rally point. 